Hey guys, how's it going? It's the German again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you all of our content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be bringing you another video on Magic Leap. In this video, I'm basically going to walk you through the process of downloading a template that Magic Leap is providing to creators to make their life easier. It used to be that you had to basically follow a lot of different steps to get an experience coin. So with this template, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to create apps and games. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you how to set up a Unity project if you're starting with Magic Leap from scratch. Normally, I would walk you through doing, you know, all the different steps, but Magic Leap actually provided you with an example template that you can use to build your projects. And that's a really clever idea because that gives you an idea of everything that needs to be set up without having to go through the hassle of setting everything up by yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm going to put this link in the description, but basically just go to this link. And then once you go to this link and you have Unity install, and if you haven't installed Unity, make sure that you watch the previous video that I'm also going to be putting in the description on what you need to do to get set up. And then once you have Unity set up, you can follow along with this video. So once you go to this link, you're going to basically get this, you know, the Unity project set up. You can, it'll tell you the Unity version this requires. It requires Unity 2018.2x and then also the Lumin SDK 0.22. And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on this link, which is going to give you a zip file. It's about 173 megabytes. So that's fine. We'll just continue on. And then once it's done downloading, we can we can go ahead and look it up. So once you have it installed and sorry, actually download it, you can hook it up to your Unity Hub, which is what we're going to be doing next. So I'm just going to basically fast forward this so you don't have to wait for the download. All right, guys, so this finished downloading. So let's go ahead and click it so we can open it up. It's going to open up and then we're basically just going to be attaching. So what I would recommend you do is move that to a location where, you know, you have all your code. So for instance, if I'm going to be using that for my future projects, I will go into, I have everything organized into folders. In fact, I can just delete those. I have Unity and then some of the other things that I do. So in Unity, what I would do is I will copy this and paste it. And then I know that it's going to be a Magic Leap template. You can leave the version if you want in there. But I'm going to be renaming this to Magic Leap Template. And then, you know, you, you can, if you don't remember that, that's okay. I'm just going to remove that. I don't like the numbering system in the file name. But this is going to be for any templates that I create. So let's say that you wanted to use this for your own projects. I'm going to add a pound symbol so that it basically sorts on the very top. And in fact, looks like I already had something similar that I was using for, actually, I, I had the same idea. I wanted to create a template so that the community used, but looks like Magic beat me up. So, well, they didn't beat me up, they beat me to making the idea a reality. So I'm going to ta uh, basically trash the other one and we're gonna be using this. So we're just gonna copy and paste it. And let's say that this is gonna be your game. So it's gonna be, you know, or your experience. It doesn't necessarily need to be a game. So it's gonna be your game name or app name. So that's what's the project it's going to be called. So once you have that, all you need to do is you go into the Unity Hub. Let's go ahead and click it. And then you're going to add it. I have a lot of different projects because, as you know, I'm, I'm working on projects and creating videos and games and you name it. Anyway, so we're going to click on Add. And then we're going to basically browse to the location of the folder that we just renamed. I'm going to go into Unity because that's where I put it. And then I'm just going to sort by the modify. And let me do it one more time so that we have we have it sorted somewhere in here. So let me just sort it by name there. Then, and there we go. So it's on the very top. So you're going to go into the folder. You don't want to go into any of these folders because this is where the project is. And then I'm just going to click on Open. So the next thing that this is going to ask you is, I'm using 2018.2.2F1. You know, if you have a different version, it's going to, it might warn you that you need to upgrade. So make sure that you click on upgrade and then everything should work. They don't, Magic Leap doesn't support anything other than 2018.2. So make sure that you stay in that version. Once they update their documentation, they might support other versions. But right now, this is what they're supporting. So make sure that you follow 
that recommendation. Otherwise, it's going to be up to you to make sure that everything works. But once you have that, I'm going to also change the current platform. This is going to be Lumen because we're building for Magic Leap. And then we're just going to click on our app or game name so we can open it up. And it didn't tell us that we needed to upgrade, so it looks like Magic Leap is using the same version in their template. In fact, we can look and see what they're using before we continue. So one way that you can tell what they're using in their template, you can click on Project Settings. And then once you click on Project Settings, there should be a file here called Project Version. And I'm just going to hit a space in my Mac so that we can see. It looks like this is what they built it with. They did use 2018.2.2 F1 which is the version that I that I actually have in my system. So this is working great. And then basically this is going to be importing all the assets that they have and the examples that they have. And once it's completed, we should have everything needed to be able to run this on the device. There's one thing that you need to do, and I'm going to show you while that is importing. If you want, you know, to be to make sure that this builds on the device, you're going to be needing to add the certificate Again, if you don't have a video or you haven't watched the video for generating a certificate, make sure that you follow that. I'm also going to be putting that in the description of this video so that you generate a certificate. And then once you do it, you're going to have something like this. I'm going to go into mine. And if we go into, I think I have mine under the release certificates. So you're going to have something like this. It's going to be a cert and a private key. So the cert, it's going to be the certificate that you're going to be adding to basically the bill. That way, when you when you upload it to the Magic Leap device, Magic Leap is going to be happy, the device is going to be happy, and we're going to be able to run the experience on the device. So this is just, we can just ignore that. I'm just going to hit OK. All right, guys, so it looks like I was able to make sure that that pop-up went away. So what you need to do is, if you have the same issue on macOS, make sure that you find the basically the audio plugin. And if you're on macOS, you're going to hold your Option key and then click on open with and then just select an application I, I selected an editor and then once you do that it's going to tell you to open it it's going to give you a warning you just hit continue and that should fix the problem so now that i have the template open this is basically everything that you need to go and do the other thing that i wanted to show you if you go to build settings if you want to get this version running on your device looks like magic leap added a hello cube to this template so this is the one that you can run we're going to go into player settings and then to build it you gotta point the certificate to the certificate that i just showed you where when we started the video so make sure that you click on magic clip you can also change the name the company name the product name and also the version and then the last thing that you're going to need is on publishing settings you need to basically select your ml certificate if you don't do this part it's not going to build to the device so make sure you do that in my case i have it under my Dropbox account, and then I have it under Magic Leap certificates, and then I would select the certificate, hit open, and then after that I can build it and run it on the device. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys, and then just FYI, I'm gonna put the link of the description of the video, actually the demonstration of the video, how to select uh, and create a certificate, and also how to basically set up all the tools if you're starting from scratch. Thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in downloading a template for Magic Leap, let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out Game Dev there because they have amazing tutorials for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting everything that I'm doing in the channel as source code and also early access to videos. Thank you very much, guys.